Ladies and gentlemen, now it's time for take two. And you're like, Chris, when was take one? Take one was the failed backlight LCD. They have sent out a new one. We're gonna go ahead and get a refund on this one right here. Natalie needs to go ahead and switch that up because she's tired of using a flashlight to see underneath her backlight. So we're gonna go ahead and put on the home button, all that fun stuff. But before we do all that, because that's a lot of work, we're gonna go ahead and test it to make sure the backlight works. Then we'll put on the home button and front camera. So let's proceed that so my wife can get back to normal activity on her phone because she needs it and deserves it because this- And I'm desperate. <laughs> and I'm she's desperate. My gosh. <laughs> and, and she doesn't like to use a flash. Ladies and gentlemen, the first test has secured that the backlight is working on this one. Ladies and gentlemen, absolutely fantastic. And actually I tested it without even putting on the new front camera or the home button. As you can see there, home button is not even there, but I plugged it in and we're looking absolutely spot on fantastic. Love it. There's mine. That's the next one, but we're gonna actually make a full blown YouTube video of that one. We might make a very quick one about this. It is a little bit uh, tough and definitely takes an extra uh, steps, an extra time, but hey, you can uh, help out a lot of people by doing this. So maybe I will, we'll see. Cool, I love it. Dun, 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 dun. I have fixed the iPhone. That's what I'm talking about. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, here we go right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at last night's haul. Of course, we got our Coca-Cola points here. This is worth, again, these are on the Coca-Cola boxes right there. Those are worth about 10 points each, 10 points each. Now remember, Minute Maid is a Coca-Cola product and as is Dasani. So make sure you get your points because Coca-Cola does own Dasani and Minute Maid points are underneath the opening there. So be careful not to tear that off and throw that away. There is the points right there. And again, you can text message those to Coca-Cola. Unfortunately, they limit you to 75 points per week, which is a bummer. So it takes a little bit of time to get up to 1100 points for the two drinks, one popcorn, two movie tickets, AMC, but it's all good. Now this one is on a bigger one right here. This is the big flap. That should be worth about 25 or so. And I believe Dasani Waters, the bottom is worth about 20. This should be 20 or 25. Don't quote me on that one, but let's go ahead and proceed forward. So this right here, we saw last night. Remember that little pouch there? Zip up, absolutely stunning. We'll go ahead and give that to one of my nieces for Christmas. That's looking absolutely stunning, fantastic. Let's go ahead and put that on the clean cardboard there. As we lift up this and we see the Netgear router with a couple cords that just slid right off, but it's all good, baby. So this one, I believe, is an older one. Netgear, of course, has the stand here. Sorry, the stand is kind of coming out the bottom there. But uh, anywho, I think this is obviously an older one because my N450 is a lot larger than this. Again, I'm gonna take a little bit of some research on the internet, see if this is worth reselling. If not, I'll definitely just goodwill that bad boy. All right, now coming over here, take a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at this. This is what was inside the Prince two case, uh, tennis racket case right there. Inside is a Prince tennis racket. And let's go ahead and take that cover off and let me show you exactly which one it is. As we can see there, a beautiful, beautiful tennis racket Prince. We're looking at a long body there. Model number is Thunder 820. And to tell you the truth, I think I already have one of those. I don't know if it's the long body, but that's it right there. Another Prince. And actually, I think there's another one behind there as well. So as you can see, my collection is absolutely growing and I love it. Love it, love it, love it. You can't, you, you gotta always use some tennis rackets because of course, when people come into town and you wanna go play tennis, you go over to the court, you're gonna need some tennis rackets. Anyway, that was a great pickup right there. And I dig, absolutely dig the two case holder right there. Looking spot on, fantastic. Inside, we have, whoop, slipping out of my hands here. Inside, we have one pink tennis ball which I think is absolutely fantastic here. It says uh, Wilson Hope 4. It's uh, obviously for breast cancer research, women's tennis ball. So that was inside as well. I'm absolutely pumped up on that one. And I believe that was about it, but it does have a strap for your shoulder. I do need to clean off a little bit of crud that was on the outer end of it. Not exactly sure what that was to tell you the truth, but anyway, we're not gonna touch it. But let's go ahead and move along to the big dog here. The big dog, well, we're gonna get to the big dog here in just a second, but let me go ahead and show you this guy right here. 
Now, I believe off the top of my head, that's just gonna be your normal widescreen 15 inch, I believe. It's uh, definitely a little bit smaller, but you could always use that for a uh, security camera monitor type thing like that. Absolutely spot on, fantastic. Go ahead and use a HDMI adapter for that. And that, obviously since there's no, I don't think there's an HDMI port. Let me go ahead and see real quick. Nope, we got the power and we have the DVI right there. Let's see if we can get some specs on here. Uh, it's pretty small, so I can't read it right now. I don't wanna waste your time. I'm gonna have to get a magnifying glass for that one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, coming over to the big dog here. I'm gonna be right here with you. We're gonna fire up this together, but I'm gonna have to bring it on over here. And like I said, always keep your cords because you're gonna need cords when you have a situation like this. So let's go ahead and bring it over here next to the big dog here. And as we can see here, this is the exact condition where we grabbed it. So let's go ahead and plug it on in and let's go ahead and figure out what's going on with this bad fire. Right, ladies and gentlemen, we have our plug hooked up right over here. Let's go ahead and get this one out of the way because we're gonna step back and we're gonna fire it up together here. Let's go ahead and see. My guess is that one right there is it. And we have a red light down here. So that's obviously an amazing little looksy looksy. I think, uh, you know, we're gonna actually get the model number here after we fire it up. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit that now. We see blue, I think it's a 32 inch. Like I said, let's go ahead and back up. There we go, looking spot on, <laughs> fantastic. I knew it, you know what I'm saying? There's just there, there's just some, something inside of you that says, you know what, we're 100% working condition, we're looking great, and bam, look it, it just fires up and looks spot on, fantastic. Even glow throughout the whole entire thing here. That's obviously my dark shadow in the screen there, but beautiful. Ladies and gentlemen, that again, we are gonna be giving this to my parents' pastor for the church because they need a TV for the kids. Obviously, it's not as big as I want to give them a 32. I'd rather give them the big dog back here if they can wait for it. Actually, that's a little bit heavy because what I'm going to do, I'm going to give them this on this. I'm actually going to remove that and use that as a spare computer monitor, security monitor, etc. And then we're going to go ahead and put this 32 on this TV cart right here. I don't use the TV cart. Obviously, I could sell it, but the church needs it and definitely going to be able to donate that, which I'm really uh, stoked about that one. So anyway, so we're going to put that on that, remove that, put that over here. And of course, we'll include the stand as well, but we'll put that on there so they can actually wheel that in and out of the children's ministry so they can watch whatever DVDs they can. And um, if they don't have a DVD player, we might be able to find a little something, something for them as well. We'll go ahead and put it right under there, a little DVD player, hooks up, cord management in the back, and everybody's looking greasy beasy, baby. All right, if you guys didn't notice, have you seen my Edison bulbs? Kind of hard for the camera to pick that up, but they're the spiral ones there. I really dig those. That was a great, great, uh, well, I actually, honestly, that was a product review, but unfortunately, Amazon, remember, they shut down before I could review it. So that was a big issue. But anyway, if I can remember, I'll go ahead and link that company below. Low. Let's see if we can get the contrast just right here so I can show you what that looks like. The spiral ball. Anyway, great lights. I dig those. My friend, she's alive as well. We're two for two, baby. We're two for two. Look at that. Colors is absolutely fantastic. Tell you the truth, I think that one is the exact same model as this one. Actually, I think it is. <laughs> that is awesome. That means that we can, in the future, not right now obviously, but in a couple months when we get rid of all of this inventory on eBay, et cetera, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make like the ultimate like, you know, little, little computer area around here. At first I was just gonna keep it to this area right here, but I think we're gonna expand our horizons here because what I wanna eventually do, I wanna put the big dog on the back wall. I wanna go ahead and keep this here, but then I wanna eventually, what I wanna do, Again, the big dog there, and then the sports equipment shelves, they're gonna get stacked up on that shelf area there. As we can see, there's the tennis rackets there. There's the Louie right there, spot on, fantastic. <laughs> uh, luggage, uh, suit bag type thing. Anyway, obviously awesome, just plain awesome. We still got the Sperry's on the ground right here. A lot to do, a lot to do, my friends, a lot to set up. We still need my thermal paste. My goodness gracious, that's something I do need to get my hands on. Some more thermal paste for my PS3 fat. As we can see here, there's the old thermal paste right there. I need to go ahead and remove that thermal paste, put on new thermal paste, put it all back together. Actually, no, before I do that, 
I need to go ahead and heat it up, light heat spreading it around like that, clean off obviously the dust. Nasty, I don't even know how that much dust got inside the PS3 fat, but that's another story for another time, my friends, because that we're gonna fire up backwards compatible, you know what I'm saying, that's worth some dollars. Ah, oh, goodness, it's been a good day. Now my friends, lastly, I just really quickly wanna show you this rug, remember that? This is the one we picked up last night, dual palm trees on the front, and it's a little bit thinner. I was planning on putting it right here because I needed an extra little mat right there, but this one is actually too small and too thin compared to that one. And I was like wondering, how huh, should I just bundle it up and throw it in the edge of the garage and see what happens? Well, anyway, I go to flip it around and take a look at this, my friends, Persian Weavers, world-class rug brand, Oasis. What in the world is going on? This thing might be worth some dollars. What if this was a Persian prince's woven rug that is going for $1.5 million? Buy a house and a Tesla. Come on, get some, Cristoforo. Well, quick story for the ride home. So, the cable guy that came over that was gonna fix our internet speeds, he comes over and he, we were looking for the uh, splitter. And we just, we couldn't find the splitter. And he's like, he was checking every outlet and he's like, man, where's your splitter? And he's like, normally it's behind a base plate with like nothing there, it's just screwed into the wall. And then the splitter's in there, the line that goes up and splits out, splits out to the different rooms. And I was like, man, I don't know, let's go check in the garage. He's like, all right, cool, let's go check in the garage. So I fire up the garage door and like he was in there for about 30 seconds and he's like, hey man, what do you do? And I was like, oh man, I can't tell this guy I'm a dumpster diver. So I'm like, I'm a YouTuber, I'm a YouTuber, which was true, which was true. But you know what I'm saying? I can't tell him I'm a dumpster diver because he's, he's gonna hunt my cans. He's gonna hunt my cans. My cans are the special cans. Anywho guys, that was what I'm talking about. Seatbelt's on, we're going on a main road now. We're getting out of private property there. So anyway, hey, you know what I'm saying? It was a special night, 48 degrees. Hey, we're always looking good. All right, we're gonna head back home, edit the vlog and then go to bed wake up refreshed and power through and ready for a new fresh start to a new day get some coffee in the books until then guys god bless you god protect you remember to cop day damn baby and live your dream and check your dumpsters and i'll see you guys tomorrow later Grab it. Finish, baby. Well, I mean, what if, Back I mean, poison this spider. Hey, that's what we need. Man, we're on the wrong bikes, y'all.